Hello, Pisces. It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read. Sorry about being a little late. There we go. Let's get a little bit more light here. <clears throat> I was, I sat down yesterday to do the reading and I was just so tired. I sat down for a second and the next thing I know it's morning. So sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> I was pretty tired. But anyway, here I am. Uh, up drinking my coffee and let's get into it and see what's going on what's going on here with Pisces hope you guys are enjoying your day Isa Isa, huh? Well, now Isa is um, Isa is uh, ice. Ice moves very slowly, but Isa is is a almost a hundred percent. How can I say that? Um, it's, it's almost 100% for sure that you're gonna see some sort of victory as a result. When, you, when I see Isa, it's, it's a precursor to victory. Here's Isa. It's a precursor to, to, to um, um, definitely a precursor to uh, some sort of victory. So don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams, Pisces. It's very, very important. Um, that you just continue on uh, doing what you're doing, whatever it is that you are doing, um, you're doing the right thing, all right? I'm sitting here fumbling with these cards, getting them all set. <laughs> all right, so what else is going on here with Pisces? Us. Oh. Well, you know, Pisces, Thrasysus is in reverse. That's good. This is the one rune. <clears throat> this is the one rune that you want to see come up in reverse. <laughs> um, well, there's a couple others too that aren't too bad, but this is really probably the best rune uh, to see come up in reverse. Because what it's talking about is a very, very difficult situation that, it, that is over with. That it, it's, a, it's a difficult situation, and the coast is clear. You're safe, all right? There's no potential danger. Yeah. And it's also talking about your protection. You're protected also. This is like a thorn. This thing right there, that's a thorn. And if anybody tries rushing you or something, they're going to get stabbed by that thorn. So, I mean, it's kind of like reminds me of Bob Wire around you. Yeah. You're, you're well protected, Pisces. What else is going on with Pisces? <clears throat> hmm. And there it is, Tiwas. Tiwas is victory. Like I said, Isa is always a precursor to, to victory. And this is victory. Tiwas means victory. Victory after a long battle. This is a spear. You know, it's like, you know, war, you know, like a spear. This is the difficult situation right here, this thoracicus. Um, and and we, we're, we're victorious, Pisces. We're victorious. And just keep moving forward, like I said with Isa. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. You're almost there. And what else is going on here with Pisces? Hadjalas. 
Huh. <sighs> so Hadjulez is uh, something shocking, Pisces, something shocking, a shocking victory, a shocking victory, all right? Now there's something over here, I don't know what's going on over here, but something shocking is going on. Um, Hmm. Shocking victory. What else? Hmm. You got Fehu in reverse. That sucks. You know, P uh, Pisces, Fehu in reverse talks about, you know, money um, or health. Okay, and when it's in reverse, it's talking about, you know, losing money or your health. So make sure that you're taking care of your health. Um, it looks to me like you could be losing money slowly. You know, you might have a little bit of stash here of some money, Pisces, uh, but it's running out slowly. So be very, very careful with your money. Um, yeah. And also take good care of your health. Fehu is talking about health. And there's a lot of people that, you know, have been getting sick lately. Thank goodness it hasn't been me, but um, yeah. Actually, I know a couple people that got really, really sick, but you know, thank goodness it wasn't me. <laughs> it's like I stay away from, <laughs> stay away from sickness. <laughs> uh, huh. So what else is going on here with Pisces? So you got Gable, Gable. Well, Gable is some sort of a blessing, uh, Pisces, or some sort of a gift. Yeah, this could be some sort of a blessing or some sort of a gift. Hmm. Interesting. What else is going on with Pisces? Inguas. Inguas, huh? Inguas. Well, you know, Inguas is really good. Inguas is Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarian Pisces or somebody that has Aquarius in their chart. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, that's really basically all as I can say, except that Inguas is talking about um, something that's going to propel you forward in a positive in a positive way. Um, yeah. I kind of feel funny about this, though. I don't know what the deal is here. in reverse. You don't trust this person, Pisces. There's something about this person you don't trust. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely don't trust this person. And you know, when Iwas comes up in reverse like that, there's a good reason for it to come in reverse because it's it's your intuition telling you that you don't trust somebody. And when your intuition tells you you shouldn't trust somebody, your intuition is always 100% correct. All right? So, <clears throat> you know, this person may come across like, yeah, you know, like, uh, nah, nah, but still, if you don't trust them, then just, you know, know that you're right, okay? This could be like, um, this could be like a, a, a partner or somebody that, uh, like, an, like, um, 
somebody that might not be, uh, you know, like a partnership or something like um, that you don't trust. Whatever your intuition is telling you, you're you're right. All right, so just trust your intuition and you know. Got the blank rune. And the blank rune is, yeah, you know, the blank rune is basically Isa. Um, yeah, maybe you've made some sort of a decision or something, Pisces. Yeah, it might have taken you a while to come to your conclusions, but um, I think maybe you've made some sort of a decision. Let's get some tarot cards out here and see what else. <clears throat> What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? Man, it's a beautiful day out. I was thinking about maybe doing a read outside, but um, I don't know if the, if the wind if this wind stays down, I might. Kind of a little bit chilly, but it's still beautiful outside today. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. Well, that's us, Pisces. This is our energy right here. You know, sweet, kind, generous, loving. Uh, here we are enjoying our cup of coffee, um, you know, with our dog. That kind of reminds me, I'm enjoying my cup of coffee right now. And my, my doggie's right here. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So why is the Queen of Cups there? Mm, the three of wands. The three of wands. Did you see this? You guys have never probably seen this three of wands. Check out this three of wands. This is us broadening our horizons, okay? We're setting out to, you know, higher, higher, gosh, how could I say that? A higher existence, a higher, this is kind of like a higher vibration I'm feeling we're 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 um we're broadening our horizons yeah we could be moving on moving on to we're moving on to a higher level of expectations yeah because see they're up in the mountains right up there soaring they're up there with the eagles What's going on with Pisces? The fool. Yeah, see, you, you've moved. You've moved on. You're broadening your horizons, and and you've got a fresh start right here, a brand new start. There you are. This could be maybe even some, you know, a new job for some of you, maybe. Because I see some guy there, you know, at work. So um, it definitely could be a new job for some of you. I kind of feel that some of you have been looking for maybe some sort of work. And maybe this is good, a good a good omen. If you'll notice, see, um, look at this card. You see the bird up there in the sky? See? And then look at all the birds up here in the sky and that. Yeah. So why is the fool there? Why is the fool there? <laughs> I will never be a dealer in Vegas. <laughs> I just throw the cards around. Oh man, let's try this again. <laughs> What's going on Pisces? Why is, why is the fool there? Uh, the four of wands. 
Huh. Well, you know, the Four of Wands is like is like maybe needing to get some rest. It's also talking about, you know, not wanting to argue or fight. Um, I feel that there's somebody here that you don't trust. Like you got, you, you see? Yeah. And you've got, you know, you've got Iwas right there. And, um... Yeah, you don't trust something, so but you're not you're not down for fighting. You're definitely not down for fighting. Why else? I don't really quite get that. Let's get one more card. <clears throat> got the emperor. The emperor. Right, you're going to be take you taking control. Yeah, look at this now. This is kind of like blowing my mind. I see, I see a bird, I see a bird in here. I see a bird here. I see birds all over these cards. Look at the emperor, the bird. Yeah. We're definitely broadening her, our horizons and, and, and taking control, taking control right there. I mean, this is an awesome card and this is a major arcana too. You know, so this is definitely, um, yeah, very good. What else is going on with Pisces? Mm, the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Yeah, maybe you walked away from something or someone, Pisces. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to stick around with this. Look at this card. <laughs> Who wants to stick around for that? <laughs> Not me. I'm out of here. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces? Ah, the lovers. The lovers. Huh, now, how interesting. This could have to do with this choice up here. See this blank ring? Hmm. Hmm. King of Wands, King of Cups, I mean, King of Cups. Maybe you walked away, look at this, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Maybe you walked away from a soul connection, Pisces, or some, some sort of a, a connection maybe that you, you moved away from. Yeah, this could be some sort of a soul connection. And when I mean a soul connection, it doesn't have to be like a lover. It could be, but a soul connection can be anybody in your life uh, that you that you made some sort of a contract with before even coming here to this world. And this is a broken, this is something that was broken and you walked away from it. Hmm. That's kind of weird. I don't know why that came out all of a sudden, but it's probably due to Ewas right here. This is not trusting something. What's going on with Pisces? Got the family room. Yeah, see, this is probably something to do with the family. Like I said, this could be like a, you know, somebody in your family, but the family room is empty, of course. And so, you know, nobody's there. Nobody wants to talk about it. So, uh, yeah, the family room is empty. And then you got occupation. Occupation. So this is doing something that you really love to do, Pisces. So, you know, I really like this card here. You know, this is doing something that you really like to do. Look at this and see, like I said, maybe it could be a new job for some of you because I see, you know, the fool there. It looks like he's getting back to work or something. And it looks like he's pretty happy. So, you know, it looks like he loves what he does. And, you know, this is just telling you to keep doing what you love to do. Well, I like that. What's going on with Pisces? A child, 
the child. Huh. So you know, Pisces, the child is um, is talking about like um, it's talking about like a, a new fresh a fresh new start a fresh new start. Because I, I'm looking, I'm thinking of the Fool. This is a fresh new start. Yeah, and this Three of Wands here, broadening your horizons. This is a fresh new start. Yeah. And, you know, you may have some childlike qualities, or you could be around a child. Yeah. Or somebody could have childlike qualities. But I, I feel that it's a fresh new start. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I like that. Looks like really pretty good. Let's see what else is going on here <clears throat> with Pisces. Oh, Pisces. Surrender to the divine. Full moon, Pisces. Surrender to the divine. All right, you guys. All right, there you have it. There's our reading. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to get right here into the birthday runes now, and it'll get a little bit more in depth. And uh, Pisces, we have three different birthday runes um, for our birthdays. The first rune we have is Sowilo, and I'm looking for it right now. Um, and Sowilo is the sun. It's for Pisces, born um, February 19th to February 27th, February 19th to February 27th. So that's so low. And then the second rune that we have here, uh, Pisces, is um, Tiwaz. And Tiwaz is for Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. So if you're born during those dates, that's your birthday rune. And then the last one we have is Barcona. And this is for Pisces born March 15th to March 20th. All right. So there's those. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into Pisces um, right here for Pisces born February 19th to February 27th. So what's going on with Pisces born February 19th to February 27th? Mmm, Menez. I like that. Menez. Menez in the upright. Menez in the upright is talking about, um, you know, you could be receiving some sort of assistance of some sort, Pisces. Yeah. Menez is talking about, um, you know, assistance from somebody. Yeah. Or either that or you could be assisting somebody else. Yeah, it could go either way. But it could be some sort of assistance. I really like that rune. It's a good rune. Let's get one of these a warm runes out here. What's going on with Pisces born February 19th to February 27th? I mean, yeah, to February 27th. <laughs> or, okay, let's see what or is talking about. Or is a pretty good rune. Um, <clears throat> if I can find the book. Ah, here it is. All right, let me see here. So it, it's looking promising here. This is the spindle tree. All right, and this, this particular rune is talking about abundance, creativity, honoring family, loved ones, and community or represents the celebration of abundance and creative potential in our lives and the importance of sharing these with our community. Spindle tree is a symbol of wealth and abundance. This card expresses our ability to create abundance by using our, creative, our creativity and our talents and our capacity to share this abundance with our loved ones and also the community. It emphasizes the importance of strengthening family and community ties and honoring these relationships wow so man that's that's pretty good i like it yeah so i, I do see abundance here pisces 
Yeah, I definitely do. See, that's probably talking about this right here, this, this gable. Yeah. Just be a little bit easy on the money, okay? And make sure and take care of your health. That's the most important. All right, let's get over here and get a shadow card here for Pisces. <clears throat> Pisces born February 19th to February 27th. Need validation, huh? Let's see what this is talking about. Need validation, seeking reassurance for your achievements, emotions, or decisions. Hmm. Well, there you go. That means something to somebody. So maybe somebody's seeking. Don't worry about that because if you're actually, if you're seeking reassurance for your achievements and emotions or, or decisions, there it is right there with Menez. This is, you know, this is support. This is support. <laughs> I like that. What else is going on here with Pisces? Pisces born February 19th. To February 27th. Time to act. Time to act. You don't have to know everything in advance. Take the first step and watch it all unfold. You can deal with whatever path reveals. Whatever your path reveals. You are ready. All right? You're ready, Pisces. Time to act. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. All right, you guys, let's get one of these um, witch runes, if I can find it. There it is, okay. Get one of these witch runes here. What's going on with Pisces born? February 19th to February 27th. Ah, the star. The star. This is a wish fulfillment, Pisces. Let's see what the book says. I know it's a wish fulfillment. I do. But let's see what the let's see exactly what the book says. Um it signifies inspiration, optimism, and the realization of aspirations. Like a guiding light of a distant star, it represents hope and guidance, letting us leading us towards our highest potential and illuminating the path ahead. And this is really interesting the way it says it leads us to our highest potential. And, uh, you know, here we are up in the mountains, pretty high, our highest potential for sure. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I'm making a mess of all these cards. <laughs> but anyhow, there you have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed uh, your reading. I'm going to get right here into uh, t -Waz now, okay? All right, so t -Waz. This is for Pisces, born February 28th to um, March 14th. So what's going on with Pisces, born February 28th to March 14th? What's going on with Pisces, born February 28th to March 14th? Pertho, Pertho, huh? Well, you know, Pertho is in the uh, reverse here, Pisces. And per Pertho is talking about something up in your mind. You could be up in your head about something, all right? Um, you could be very worried about something. You know, maybe you're worried about your about your finances or something. See, there's Pertho in reverse. You could be worried about, um, you know, could be worried about, you know, your money here um, or your health. But it could probably your money because, you know, it looks like it's slowly dwindling away. Um, just keep moving forward, Pisces. Uh, victory is you're going to have you're going to have some sort of victory coming your way. All right. And you're going to have a fresh start, too. So, um, yeah, I feel that this up in your head thing is just mainly just, um, you know, temporary. What else is going on with Pisces? We're on February 28th. 
to March 14th. Dual nature, dual nature, huh? With great power comes great responsibility and accepting consequences. All right. So this is like, it's a soul card, but it's also a shadow card. So um, definitely um, there's a lot of responsibility maybe that you're, that you have Pisces. Just keep moving forward. Isa is is like talking about don't give up on your dreams keep keep moving forward and you're gonna have victory all right all right let's get one of these uh one of these what's going on with pisces what's going on with pisces born february 28th to march 14th You will get there. See what I say? You will get there. You can't force flowers to grow or plants to sprout. Be patient and respect that everything happens in its own way and time. So you will get there, Pisces. And I like that. And what else is going on here with Pisces? Born February 28th to March 14th. Romance and passion. This could be romance or passion. Yeah. And I kind of feel that this is talking about passion. It's talking about what you love to do. It all comes down here to this occupation. You see right here, this occupation. Yeah. It's doing what you love to do, Pisces. Keep doing what you're doing. Pretty much. That's exactly what that's saying. Um, and it can also talk about romance. Yeah, it can also talk about romance. But if you're not having any romance, you know, then, you know, this is uh, definitely having passion for what you love to do. And just keep doing what you're doing because you, you are going to achieve a victory. All right? And there's no need to worry so much about it. I know... I understand. I, I still worry too. When people tell me not to worry, I still worry, but um, <laughs> you will get there. Okay, Pisces. So just to reassure you that. All right. All right, you guys, let's get in here to the next room here. And this is for Pisces that are born March 15th to March 20th. So let's see what's going on with you guys. What's going on with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th. Hadjalez. Ooh, Hadjalez. Well, you know. <laughs> Hadjalez is shocking and awe, you know. It's something shocking. Hadjalez is something, you know, out of our control, Pisces. Uh, but always with Hadjalez, and it's not a bad Hadjalez either. I, I feel it's a good Hadjalez because it's surrounded, you're surrounded by, you know, you've got T-wise right here. The only thing here with Hadjalez next to Fehu is, yeah, be careful with the health and the money. But <clears throat> Hadjalez is always saying you can't control what other people do, but you can always control what you do. All right. So that's basically what always that has, you know, with Hadjalez. So let's get one of these runes here. And what is going on here uh, with Pisces born? March 15th to March 20th. Court. Court. Let's check out court. Mm. Court. Well, no, I just passed it. <laughs> All right, court. This is the um, ivy. This is the ivy. All right. The, the meaning of this particular rune is 
uh, spiral, stubbornness, wildness, development, abundance, gratitude, and reawakening. Beautiful curves of ivy symbolize our soul's search for the meaning, our DNA, and galaxies in the universe. Celts saw the spirals as representatives of life and soul, showing us how we can grow and expand our lives. Ivy represents ambition with its ability to grow under conditions most plants cannot survive. Use your unique abilities to overcome obstacles that seem impossible while pursuing your goals and dreams. Yeah. And be persistent, even if, you know, things don't seem like they're moving at all. All right? Just keep moving. All right, so that's really good. Let's get one of these here. I forgot to pull one of those cards out for, for Pisces on 28th, for February 28th, and oh well. <laughs> Next time. I don't know what's going on with Pisces. I have a lot of stuff I got to go do today, so I'm kind of excited. What's going on with Pisces? All right. <clears throat> Adaptability. Adaptability. Think outside the box and find creative solutions to life's challenges. So I like that. Adaptability. Good card. Let's get one of these here. Oh, Pisces. On February, I mean March 15th to March 20th. <clears throat> Let go. Let go, Pisces. Let go of negative people and toxic beliefs. Your time on earth is precious. Invest it wisely and be mindful of who you spend time with. All right? Yeah. And it's just like here with this uh, Ewas here in reverse. If you don't trust some something, you know, trust your gut and let it go. Because you don't need you don't need something like that. You don't need people that you you know. There's no sense in hanging out with folks you don't trust. That's for sure. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces? Pisces born March fifteenth to March twentieth. Hmm. So that is water, I think. see here yeah that's definitely water it's called waves okay and the waves the waves uh, signify fluidity flexibility and the ability to navigate life's challenges with ease so that's really good Pisces like the rhythmic movement of waves upon the shore it encourages us to embrace change and go with the flow and trusting in our ability to adapt to whatever comes our way all right so make sure you're using your intuition but yeah that's what that's saying all right pisces all right you guys i hope you enjoyed your reading if you haven't don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys again tomorrow all right, Pisces, see you tomorrow. Bye for now.